It started as a way to get to work. The Safe Bus Company operated in Winston-Salem, North Carolina from 1926 until 1972. At the time the Safe Bus Company was formed, public transportation did not operate in neighborhoods where mostly black people lived. As a result, several different jitneys provided the only transportation for African American workers to get to their jobs in the city's tobacco factories. A jitney bus is simply an automobile that carries passengers for five cent fares. Only 22 jitneys in the city were available as transportation for the city's black population. On April 24, 1926, Mr. Clarence T. Woodland organized a meeting of all the jitney owners and suggested that they organize to form a single company. Out of the jitney owners operating in the Winston-Salem area at the time, 21 men showed up for the first meeting. After that initial meeting, 13 operators pledged their life savings, purchasing shares of stock for $100,000, forming the Safe Bus Company Incorporated on May 26, 1926. Safe Bus Company eventually employed more than 80 drivers and carried 8,000 passengers a day, earning the distinction of being the largest African-American owned and operated transportation business in the world. By 1968, Safe Bus Company was the sole public transportation provider for Winston-Salem's African-American residents. In 1972, the Winston-Salem Transit Authority purchased the assets of the Safe Bus Company. Many people say that segregation gave birth to Safe Bus and integration ended it. Until next time, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Press the bell to be notified of future uploads. Thank you for watching.